Hi my beautiful family and welcome to another of my videos. Well I'm playing with some makeup, some new palettes and I'm here today to review a new foundation and it's actually new for me. I'm going to review the Catrice High Coverage Luminous Matte Foundation Cle Clean ID. Now I bought a couple of new Catrice products that I reviewed on my channel. Some of them I like, some of them I didn't like so I'm trying to remember to put the card up here so you can watch it and it's a really good video so go watch it but today I'm going to try this suitable for sensitive skin number 10 neutral sand I don't know if this color will suit me but I do like the Catrice foundations and today I'm here to try this one so let's start I'm going to prime my skin I'm going to prime it with Care Cosmetics the perfect prime from combination than oily skin. It's a wonderful primer that really does wonders. I love it. It's like a gel texture. Smells fresh, not too strong, but it's so moisturizing and it feels very good on the skin and also makes actually my pores less visible, my skin more even and also keeps my foundation in place and I'm going to under prime my eyes with Becca Cosmetics under eye primer I know I know this won't be available soon but I need to use it I tried I think LA girls no J cats didn't like that one let's go with this foundation and it says no silicone no microplastic no particles mineral oils or parabens and it's high coverage it says shake it well so let's shake it i don't know if this color will suit me but i'm going to use my my sponge it's pow pow sponge i love this sponge just try start using it and I, oh that's thick I don't know if the shade is right or not but who cares we are going in oh that's cold oh this foundation stinks sorry guys but it really stinks I mean this color it's not too bad Well, it's definitely having uh, medium, medium to full coverage. It's blending very nice. It sinks into the skin very nice. So um, I don't like the scent at all. I can't, I can't explain it, but it smells like wet dirt or dirt or something. I don't know, strange scent, really strange. But I'm liking how it's going on the nose and I'm liking how it's goes into my skin so so far so good I'm going to go and finish the rest of the face I mean the color is not bad it's actually matching my neck but uh, me matching my neck it's definitely my skin is definitely darker here lighter here darker on my face so I don't like matching my foundation with my neck because I always look pale and sick Okay guys, so the foundation, it looks really nice. It's sank to the skin, it looks beautiful. It's actually right shade for me, but I feel like it makes me look sick. So I am going to go in with my uh, cream, cream um, bronzer. But before I go with the bronzer, I do want to go in a little bit with this velvet bronzer contour stick uh, from LA Girl. It's a little bit too orange, but I feel like this foundation is a little bit too gray. So just to make it a little bit, you know, more warm. Because this contour stick is beautiful. Just the shade is a little bit off. I got this from my friend Valerie and I tried to use it a couple of times. And my husband told me, you look a little bit orange today. <laughs> Usually he doesn't say anything about my makeup, but and I used a lot of this, so I mean I still like it a lot because I like the I like how it goes into my skin. 
but I just need to be more careful when I use it. You see, it just made it a little bit deep, not deep, but warmer. So I'm going to go in with this now. Love this bronzer. I really want to try the Tarte Cosmetics, but it's not available here in Sweden yet. So hopefully it will be available soon. I am going to go in and set everything, but I forgot the concealer. How could I forget the concealer? I'm going to go in with my e.l.f. concealer also that I got from my friend Valerie. I like this concealer a lot. So for my under eyes, I'm going to go in and set my under eyes with Airspun powder. It's one of the best powders out there. And the rest of my face, I do want to set with this Catrice also Clean ID Mineral Matte Face Powder. I'm going to use the same sponge. I don't like the packaging though, but and this is also in shade 10, neutral sand. So I didn't go in under my eyes because I just used a brighter shade for concealer. So I feel like it's going to make, you see, it just makes everything more matte and it's what I prefer. I do like to look luminous a little bit around here, but not on my T-zone, definitely not on my T-zone. I mean, everything looks very nice so far. I'm going to set everything again. Let's use Catrice Oil Control Matte Spray. Oh God, that's strong. Strong uh, sprayer, but yeah, it looks very nice on the skin. <coughs> also have that strange scent the setting spray. I really like how foundation looks on my skin right now. I'm going to use some um, blush and finish my makeup look. Right now it's 25 minutes to 2 p.m. so I am going to go finish this makeup look and I'll be back to tell you how it looks. Okay guys, this is the final look. Now I did use this palette to create this makeup look and I did went with this blush palette. I think I went in with this shade here, which is very nice and stunning, but I didn't go in with highlighter. I don't know why and maybe I do know why. Let me just tell you why, why I didn't went in with, the highlight, with highlighter well. Everything on went very nice on top of this foundation. I really like how this foundation is right now and it's 2 p.m. It's actually like around half an hour since I applied it. Now I have to say guys, uh, something happened when I was going in with the blush. I stopped filming when I did set or sprayed my face with this all control setting spray and I don't and I think I didn't let my face to dry or this to dry down before I went in with the blush and it kind of did something strange here. It looked like it made the here and here it kind of made my foundation look a little bit cakey and start removing it. I think it was the brush when I was applying the blush because my face was still wet. It's what I think because everywhere else the foundation looks very smooth, it looks very dry, not very dry, it feels dry and uh, not feels dry on the skin, it also just feels dry to the touch, like it's not going to move anywhere and I really like how everything is looking, it looks very natural, it looks very nice, it didn't settle into, into my fine lines, it doesn't move, it kind of looks, it's not full coverage it's more like maybe you can build it to full coverage but I don't know if you, you can still see some imperfections on my skin down here and uh, down here so it's not like full coverage maybe you can build it up I wouldn't recommend because I think that will start make foundation start looking a little bit cakey or cakier I don't think you want that but so far I'm really liking how it looks so I'm going to wear this whole day Think I'm go I think I'm going to remove the lashes because um, I'm a little bit tired and falsies when you are tired are not really a best friend for your eyes. So I'm going to remove it and I'm usually wearing my glasses and these are a little bit too long to wear with my glasses. But that's 
what I have on my face. I did also go in with the Pat McGrath lip gloss. It's so cute. I think this is my favorite formula for the lip gloss. It's the long, it's long wearing, it's kind of beautiful, it stays on, it fades very nice, it's comfortable. Uh, it just makes my lips look plumpier, which they are not. Um, I do like it. I hate this. I think the packaging is cute. I just applicator is nice, but this is too short. So every time I try to apply it, I kind of touch my under uh, lip and get the lip gloss all over my finger. But I mean, it's cute if you want to try it out, but I'll definitely recommend it. I'll definitely go in and check out the full size because I think this is very nice formula. I'm going to go on with my day. It's 2 p.m. So I'm going to go and uh, yeah. Do some stuff, play some games, take a break, maybe take a nap, I don't know, but I'll be back at the end of the day to tell you what I think and how this foundation worked on my skin. So, so now I took a mirror from a palette just to see. Uh, it looks very nice, I have to say. It's still on. Uh, it did crease a little bit here, or lo looks a little bit oily around my nose. Uh, everything else looks pretty good, I have to say. A little bit shiny and oily, but that's expected. Otherwise, I do think it's a very nice foundation, though. I have to be honest. It's, uh, it's really good. I did remove my eyelashes because I couldn't wear them anymore. I was too tired to have them on. And you probably can hear my kids screaming and playing because they're having fun playing football or something, I don't know, soccer. Uh, but this is the end of the day and I'm going to remove my foundation and go to bed because I'm really tired. But that was everything guys. Please let me know down below if you try this foundation yourself. What do you think about it? Are you curious to try it? Is it my favorite from Catrice? No, it's not. I do prefer the other one this one a little bit more. I do prefer this one over this, so I will definitely grab for this. If you have something to choose, choose the other one. I don't say it's bad, I will definitely use it again. I just feel like that one is something I'm used to, and this one is also good. It's not bad, but I feel if that one is 9 stars from 10, this is definitely 8 stars. So it's very similar, but like, exactly. Um, my oils are pretty good, how it could be this time if it was another foundation, so I do like that. But guys, that was everything. I hope you liked this video. Don't forget to subscribe, hit that, hit that notification bell, and i see you in my next video. I love you all. Bye.